Hello everybody, just um, wanted to make this video, so um, you've seen me talking on live now, and now I think it's about time I've made a video to the correspondence of this damn pandemic that's going on. So check it out, this is the chief of national, uh, national, this is the chief of the National Guard saying that the National Guard is getting prepared to start being activated by each state as the governors see fit towards their necessity. Check it out. I'm expecting tens of thousands uh, to be used I inside the states as, as this grows. Um, you know, and, and I think that uh, states have the capacity and are planning to, to do those kinds of things. Just uh, as I had my, you know, I've been having calls with the adjutant generals in every state. Uh, but I think that uh, this could quickly blossom uh, in the next couple of weeks as governors and, and states determine uh, their needs and ways to use the, their National Guards. Federal, uh, at the federal level. So, Posse Comitatus, uh, using the Title X military members in a law enforcement uh, capacity against uh, the American people is prohibited. And uh, so I think that um, we want to keep uh, that, and that is Title X, uh, active duty military forces that you can't do that with. So if you keep the National Guard um, under the command and control of their governors in what we call Title 32 or state active duty status, um, they have additional authorities that can assist law enforcement. And they maintain their direct command and control links within their states. It makes it a faster, more rapid, more, more efficient response for the governor and the state emergency response network uh, to use them. Thank you, uh, Tarakov with McClatchy. Um but we do have medical technicians and medical capabilities and medical battalions and, uh, you know, medical technicians and the like. Um, and uh, if the governors want to mobilize them and use them in a, in a, in a sense, they can do that. Thank you. And, you know, the issue with the medical issue is, as we've talked about many times, is, is if you were to activate the reserve component medical forces and bring them on duty in the military, you're taking them out of the civilian system. So there's a kind of a zero-sum game here with uh, medical technicians and medical personnel. There is no need right now to have 450,000 guardsmen on duty in any given state. As states need the National Guard to react to this pandemic, governors have the authority to bring them on, uh, on active duty, as there are tasks and purpose for them to be used. So exactly. Thank you very much. So, I, I agree with this chief so much he is correct it is very true everything that he said and it is very good that each governor is going to have the use the proper use to use and activate each national guardsman to uh, the necessity that the state sees let's go to the next video has gone into self-quarantine at her home after having contact with a doctor who tested positive for the coronavirus. An official said Merkel will be tested regularly over the coming days and will continue to conduct her duties as chancellor from home. Germany has seen more than 23,000 cases so far with at least 92 deaths. Over the Atlantic, Senator Rand Paul of Kentucky has also tested positive for the coronavirus, becoming the first U.S. senator to test positive. His office says he's asymptomatic and was tested out of an abundance of caution due to his extensive travel and events. Still, his diagnosis is setting off concerns over whether other senators who might have been in contact with Paul should immediately self-quarantine. Clearly, we are doing everything in our power to bring Canadians home, to bring as many Canadians home as we can, as the Prime Minister stated earlier, and to do so quickly. I want to reiterate, however, it will unfortunately not be possible for us to repatriate all Canadians who want to come home. El presidente Alejandro Yamatei anunció 17 nuevos casos de enfermos por coronavirus y decretó el toque de queda en el país a partir de este domingo. Santiago Botón nos amplía esta información. Te saludo, Santiago. On Thursday, in a bid to contain the disease, Brazil closed its borders with eight neighboring countries. Meanwhile, Rio de Janeiro has closed its famed beaches as well as restaurants and bars for 15 days. For more, I'd like to cross to Lucas Neves, a journalist. 
Lucas, thank you so much for being with us. Can you talk us through... ...classes. Meanwhile, Chilean President Sebastián Piñera suspended classes for two weeks but stopped short of issuing a state of emergency. Argentina was among the first in the region to close its schools and its borders. We have made the decision that during the next 15 days we will close the borders and no one will be able to enter Argentina <laughs> except obviously native Argentines or foreigners residing in Argentina. Venezuela has confirmed close to 20 cases of the virus and no deaths, but the state of its public health system after years of economic crisis has raised alarm. Its leader, Nicolás Maduro, on Sunday ordered businesses to close and citizens to stay at home amid concern over how his government would cope with a COVID-19 outbreak. China, South Korea, Egypt, Iran and most European nations are already required to self-quarantine upon arrival in Japan. The country has recorded 49 deaths and over 1,000 infections. Okay, guys, so let me just share with you guys this video that's from the March 19th, about to be March 20th, but um, this is in Italy. Check this out. Italy's front lines as a deadly milestone is reached. The country today recording more coronavirus deaths than China. Over 3,400 now dead, 427 more fatalities in just one day, and a 15% increase in infections over yesterday. The curve just won't flatten. This desperate plea from a doctor in hard-hit Bergamo. Our health personnel, nurses and physicians are working round the clock, countless hours, to fight this incredible situation. Tonight, 300 volunteer doctors now being rushed in from other parts of the country to help. Even Bergamo's crematorium is overwhelmed. Bodies now have to be transported by the military to surrounding regions to be dealt with safely. This nurse saying the psychological tension has, quote, gone through the roof. We're not even counting the dead anymore, she says. Doctors also making the ultimate sacrifice. One physician, sick with the virus, reportedly didn't want to take an intensive care bed from another patient. It cost him his life. Darkness in Italy and Spain, suffering nearly 300 deaths in the past 24 hours. But glimmers of light from China, reporting no new domestic cases. A long road... Oh, you know what? I'm gonna let I'm gonna let the guy finish up first. Now. Head for other nations facing Corona's deadly wave. And James Long. Okay. Um. So let me just put it back to that picture right there. Okay. So, you guys know me, and I like investigating a lot of, especially when I'm talking about stuff that's important. I like making sure everything is true, and everything has a lot of facts to it. And I also like to make sure that, given that there's facts that's you know, publicly, there's sometimes things that are beneath the surface there's been a lot of talk that china's faking this um success that there's no new patients just there's no new infected and that they haven't had a, the death toll rise i also too believe that this is fake because um i don't think that they could control such a population that china has you know what i mean so that's all i have to say and that's all i'm gonna say let's go on to so just tell me what you think tell me what you think is going on and uh even conspiracies um what do you think is gonna happen what do you think i should be talking about like i should be talking about uh express me express sorry express yourselves towards me and i'll read you guys comments all right for now take care stay safe and i'll catch you guys later all right peace <laughs>